hello, hello, Shelly with Doodlebug Design. I am getting ready to start my next project, actually my first project, with the brand new Fairy Garden Collection by Doodlebug Design. And I have been on a Smashbook streak here lately, so with this, um, I thought it'd be really cute to do just a little mini Smashbook, okay? This is a kind of going back to some others that I did where you just use all paper you don't really use any kind of a cover other than maybe a heavy, um, heavier paper or cardstock paper. So I'm going to be using the 6x6 paper pad with this. I think um, the Spring Assortment card and envelope pack. All of this you can pick up at scrapbooks.com, cherryontop.com, and then several other places online too. So you can just do a quick search on that. You can go to the Doodlebug website and look there as well to look at all the products. So here I have just broken apart all of the envelopes and the cards that come in that pack. There are 12. So there are actually 12 pieces. So there are six cards and six envelopes. Okay. They match just beautifully with the collection that we're going to use Minus the purple, the lavender color's not in there, but that's okay. So, first thing I'm going to do is start arranging these to think of um, a good pattern design with color and size as we kind of walk through the different pages. So, my idea for this was to maybe do an envelope, a card, envelope, card, kind of in that fashion, and then alternating colors as we go. So as we start to stack all of these together, I really think this would make a cute cover for the book. Okay, so I may kind of make that the first page and then we'll want to kind of go to a different color. So maybe the green and let's use the envelope for that. And we're gonna modify all of these so that um, you could also maybe make this if you wanted to turn it the other way and make it into a pocket you could definitely do that maybe a pocket going that way so i may try to do that okay um so next we need a card let's go with the blue so maybe that going that way and then we're going to open that up so flipping this way really need to go this way so we have all the creases where we can bind all of those together like that. So just kind of laying all these out. And then if I need to score or modify anything, I can go back and do that when I get everything laid out here. Um, so maybe orange next, and I need an envelope. So go that way with that. The lighter color pink, and that is a card. And this one has that little flap there, so just depending on how you want that to go in. So just do that one that way, and then we're going to go, see that's all of the different colors. So we're going to go back to the hot pink, and we'll add that there, and I actually think I'm going to do this one this way too, okay. And then the next color is the green, so that will be the card. Open that up, that, okay, and then next is the orange, and then that light pink again. So maybe that way can alternate back and forth how these open up, and I think I will do that one that way. So this is kind of how it's going to look. I'm going to go back and trim everything off, and then I'm also going to fold some of the pattern papers and maybe, maybe some of the cut apart cards from the 12 by 12 paper. So let me get all this prepped and I'll be right back. Okay, and as you can see now, I have everything sandwiched together. I pulled out three of the six by six papers from the six by six paper pad and just folded those in half and just kind of stagger those in between some of the pages. Um, I'm gonna go back and probably trim these to keep this within the width of this. So I will show y'all how that looks. And next, the next thing I'm going to do in preparation for this is cut apart some of the little 3 by 4 cards. So I'm looking for two that I can put together that will fold in half. So I can use, um, I can use these two here 
and even if it has something on it that you know maybe it like happy birthday is down here and I just want this to be pretty generic um, so probably what I'm going to do with that is just I can use a sticker or a um, one of the die cuts to put over that so I'm going to come in here first and trim this Okay, so I made that cut there, so I will use these two cards and then just fold this in half. And then that will make another little insert here that we can sandwich in between the pages. And I'm just going to kind of move in between maybe a couple of the cards that don't have one of the pattern papers in between. And then you'll just start sandwiching everything together, moving things around, trimming things up. And then when we come back, I'm going to show you how I've trimmed everything down, made the pockets, and bind all of this together. And then we'll walk through all the embellishments and things that I've added to that. So we'll be back and continue with that. Okay, let me show y'all one of these pockets right quick and how I did, I mean, one of the envelopes that I'm making into a pocket, okay? This is the one that you could have it this way in the book using the natural crease of the envelope as where you would place it in the um, the sandwich part, the crease part. But, I really wanted to make this into a pocket pocket with flaps. So, I folded it in half, okay? And then after I had that folded in half, I folded it this way, and I just cut. Now, this was, this was all just one part here. I just made a cut, a diagonal cut to that line and then I'm going to go back and quarter around that rough edge just so that it will match the other side and then that way when I have it inside of the book then I can put my little tags in there or my little die cuts or whatever it is I'm wanting to to put inside of there okay okay so now that I have that all trimmed up and then what you can do here, if you're asking, what are you going to do with the gum part of that, um, that flap? I'm just going to put some washi tape over that. So that will cover that up. So when that is in my book, and I'm probably going to turn it this way, just so the flaps, um, you know, kind of don't mess each other up. So they're going to be a way up, up like this inside of the book. Okay. Then you have a little pocket there. And then you'll flip on through several pages over. And then you'll find this other pocket on the other side. I just wanted to show y'all that right quick. Okay, as I'm moving through the book and kind of working on the inner pages and how wide I want these to be, there is that, that um, envelope that we just did. There's the six by six paper folded in half that I've corner rounded. There is one of the journal cards, but in between here is this card here. But as you can see, it's, it's poking out quite a bit further. So I really don't want anything to go past the back of the book okay that back page so that is four and a half inches across on that so everything inside of that because all these are kind of going to poke out behind this this cute little um the die cut of this front cover so we don't have to worry about anything being hidden it's still going to be very interactive looking and have a lot of different patterns poking out so from here working forward, I'm going to either trim down or fold the inner pages so that they're just slightly smaller than the four and a half. So maybe maybe four and a quarter or four and three eighths or something like that. So we'll just see as we move through. But anyway, I just wanted to give y'all the measurement on that as I'm planning the pages going forward. Okay, now that I have everything finished, everything has been trimmed up, as you can see, I have embellished, I have added my little strap to hold all the pages together. There is a look at the cover, I've used a die cut. I've used one of the older um, build of flowers as the base. Um, I just thought a little, a little grassy area there, but any kind of die cut with some green would work. And then just of course highlighted it with a doodle pop and some of the sprinkles. I did sew on a button here. I actually did sew that on. That's for the closure. So when you open it up, I took a remaining piece of, um, 
and the envelope, this part, I had cut the flap off. So I took that part and punched it into a round shape and then just used that to cover up where I had stitched, okay? And so, like I was saying right before um, this part, I trimmed everything off or um, folded it down. So let's just move through and see how I fashioned all of the pages here. Okay, there is that little flip up. So you can add things to that little pocket inside of there. Maybe just a mini tag or another little journal card would be really cute inside of that. There's that washi tape that I used to cover up the gummed part of the, of the um, seal. And then there's that six by six paper. I added one of um, one of the longer journal cards on the 12 by 12 paper. I cut the top off and then just used the remainder of that and just attached that to the side of that for a tab. And it also adds a little bit of color and interest when you flip the page over. So some of the little sprinkle, the shaped sprinkles, a little bit of border sticker to break that apart. Added a clip, one of the cute clips to the top. And then sticker. There's just part of that card. And I try not to do too much on every page just so it's not too overly bulky and you know, you just kind of want to give your eye a little bit of rest as you move through the book. And then as, as I was saying earlier, you can change any of this up. Um, so I think this said, have a magical day or something on the top. So I just wanted just kind of a basic sentiment. So use the sticker there. There's a small little pocket added to journal card to that. That is that one. I've added some of my own tags to the inside of that pocket. This is one of the longer journal cards, as I was saying, um, that I used on that tab. But this one I kept whole, and I just folded it in half. And then just used one of the cute clips to keep it closed. And then you can also pop a picture or something underneath there. Used a lot of the washi tape just to give a little bit of pattern and color where I didn't really want to add too much embellishments. And here I just used a sticker to cover up the original sentiment that was under that. There is that long pocket. See how I left that long envelope? And then just added some washi tape there. This, I believe, is that card. I cut the top of it off so it would fit onto this like as a mat, but it, the mat does actually flip up. Okay, so you can have some journaling there. And the other side of that pocket, or actually this pocket, with a couple in there, there's the center of that, and I will show y'all how I did that here as soon as I finish walking through this book. There's the back of that pocket. And this was one of the longer die cuts, kind of that garland. And I just took the piece and just halfed it around. Tag. So really you can add just as much or as little as you want. This is that, that pink card that had that, there was the original fold on that, um, kind of that trifold part of the card. So I just made a new score part to the card so everything would stay inside of the border of the cover. So that's how I did that one. There's that other cute pocket with another journal card inside. The back of that blue card. And that blue card I just took it and all I did to that one was I just trimmed it off to keep it inside of that and then just corner rounded to make it look to keep it the natural flow of that. And I did the journal card like that on there. And then there's the back of that, okay? So as you can see, everything is just sandwiched together and placed under our strap. And this is so simple. All you do is just punch your two holes. Just make sure you come in enough from the edge so it doesn't pull through. So I just punched the two holes there, added my 
cording to that and I choose that round elastic cording, I will have a link to that in the bottom description. And then I used a really thin, I just actually picked this up from the Dollar General. They have like a pack of um, elastics that you can use to make jewelry with. So this is a really thin cording there that you can use and then that just wraps back around your button to keep everything closed. And again, I just used um, just a die cut round circle to cover that up where I knotted that through. Okay, so then everything when it's all stacked together like this, just slides back underneath the elastic. That way you can add pictures or add pages to it. You can take away pages. You can move stuff around if you want to do that. Just really whatever you want to do. If you want to take small sections and maybe stitch them together with your sewing machine, you can do that as well if you want it to be a little bit more stationary. Um, but when you do have this many pages, that is, you know, a little bit more difficult to do unless you have a really good sturdy machine. So again, that just closes together with that little piece of elastic there, and that's it.